Hello friends, we are here today with our iconic imagery stamp set. I, you get to see me in my full work from home um, hairdo. I had to go pick the dog up from the groomers today when I would have been putting some makeup on and fixing my hair for you. But we're here to stamp and that's what you guys care about, not what my hair and makeup look like, right? So... <clears throat> We are going to make a cute card with our iconic imagery set. Last week we used um, these greetings of the season and the seasons of green and gold. You can go watch that video. If you're on YouTube, excellent, you found me. Make sure and subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do because you don't want to miss any of my fun videos every week. Um, every Wednesday, Thursday sometimes, um, I'll post a video with a cool Stampin' Up! project. So the one I'm making today, I actually don't have enough paper to make two, so I can't show you a sample, but I will show you some cards that we're making with it this weekend at my Pretties Team Gathering. So my, uh, my people in my group that are happy shoppers, some of them have classes, most of them don't. Most of them are just shopping happily. Um, we're gonna make these cards. So I have those. And so I've got to kind of save my paper, my designer paper for that. But I am I had one sheet that I could use to, sh to make a card with you. So we're gonna do that and it's gonna be a pretty Christmas card. So let's just get started. Now the iconic imagery, you won't see this in a catalog because it's an online exclusive and that means it's only available online. So you need to go to stampinup.com or better go to my store and I will put a link to the online exclusives right in the first comments of this video when I get finished. And also, um, if you get my weekly emails, then I always have a link to the online exclusives. You can shop and filter for online exclusives. It's actually pretty easy, but this will help you. All right, so I'm using this piece of the Iconic Imagery Designer Paper. Now, I'll let me grab um, the rest of it. I've got a pile of it over here. We'll count how many times I get to get up and pop across the room today. But this is a six by six pack of designer paper that has Christmas, but also it's got fall images and it's got some birthday images, and it even has some Valentine's images. Okay, so you're not gonna wanna miss, and I pull this into New Year's for sure with these little champagne goblets. All right, but we're gonna use this pattern that is Christmas, holiday, slash winter, depending on how, what you wanna call it. And we are going to stick a piece of designer paper. Oh no, my stampin' seal just ran out. It happens because I stamp so much. All right, so we're gonna pop this piece down. There, all right. So this is five by three and three quarters of that designer series paper. Now, next thing we're gonna do what you might not notice at first glance, so obviously the dies in this set for iconic imagery are going to cut out the the um, images, okay? So that's a no-brainer. But you've got a lot of bonus ones. You've got this die, you've got this longer die, and then this is my favorite die. So um, we want to really focus on those. And I've already used this die to cut out a white piece of cardstock and I also use that larger kind of die to cut out a crumb cake piece of cardstock. So let's get stamping. Now I'm going to start with this celebrate first and hello who is here? I'll say, say hello if you're here. Comment in this in the comments, I'd love to say hello. We're gonna stamp this celebrate. I love this celebrate, it's so cute. It's very festive. 
And you know, the good news is you can use Celebrate for any season. Oh gosh, what in the world? I'm a little too heavy handed on that. Let's try that again. I've used this stamp a lot and that hasn't happened. Okay. Looks like I need to re-ink that pad, but for now it'll do. All right, and we are going to use this crumb cake piece and we're gonna stamp the season there with memento. So I want it to be very bold and we're just gonna go full memento there. All right, so set these aside because we're gonna do some more stamping. All right, so one another thing I love about this stamp set, it's got lots of cute little, little images, all right? And if you get on Pinterest and type in iconic imagery, there's a card going around that Stampin' Up! designed that a lot of people have cased that uses them in like a little Christmas quilt. It's so cute, so go look for that. But um, I'm going to use the tree, the boughs, and the berries, okay? But the cool thing about it is it's a two-step stamp. And that means that you can um, get some really cool images with your two-step stamping. All right, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm starting with a piece of basic white. It's three, in, three inches by something. And I'm going to, I made it that way because I'm going to put it through my embossing machine. All right, so first I'm gonna use Mossy Meadow and Soft Sea Foam. Now, I have learned that it's easier to, on this set, it varies from set to set, but on this set, it's easier to stamp your darker image first and then come in with your lighter image. So what you have is a more detailed image and a less detailed image, okay? So um, this is, the outline image and this is the filled in like less detailed image and that I'm going to do with sea foam. So you can see it makes a cool two tone situation here. All right. So we're going to do one Christmas tree and now we're going to do two of the boughs and we're going to actually keep those colors out because we're going to do that again. We're going to go mossy meadow. We're gonna go Mossy Meadow, and then we're gonna go Sea Foam Green again. It's just so fun to put these colors together with your two-step stamping. And you've got all these images that you can two-step stamp with. This is gonna be really pretty for fall, so stay tuned. All right, now we're going to do two sets of berries. So let me I've got cherry cobbler and petal pink. So we've got a light pink and a dark red. So our inside of our berry is going to be petal pink, but we're going to start with cherry cobbler on the outside. And then we're going to come in with our petal pink. And it's just the most perfect detail that it's subtle, but so cute. All right. And you will definitely want to get the dies because you'll see now that we're going to zip these through our embossed machine with our dies that match our iconic imagery dies. So in this suite, we have stamp set and dies and a pack of designer series paper. Plus, we're, I'm going to show you these cool embellishments that we're going to use and a ribbon. And I don't know if this is the ribbon that is said to go with the suite, but this is the ribbon I'm using today. It's also on the online exclusives, and it's just called White Fray. I think it's White Frayed Grow Grain Ribbon. Okay. So, but we'll get to that in a second. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me get my ink out of the picture so I don't have an unfortunate incident incident okay now you'll notice I did put a squishy pad under there um, just to get really good contact with those photopolymer stamps especially since I was doing that two-step stamping 
So we're going to put our emboss machine together and we're gonna pop out our dies. So we need our Christmas tree. Um, good better fingers today. Okay. We're gonna use our bow. and our berries. This one is teeny. Whoa, da, da. Okay, we'll see if we've centered that correctly there. I think that's better. Ooh, I don't have any post-it note tape on the table, so I'm just gonna wing it. Post-it notes also work but post-it note tape is awesome. Okay, so let's see what we have. Oh yay, it worked perfectly. We have a tree, we have a bow, and some berries. And now we've got to make one more pass back through for those other, that other bow and berries. Um, I don't know about you, but I think it's never too early to start crafting with your Christmas cards. Something that's fun to do, in my opinion, is, um, oh, dang it, is to get some of your Christmas cards knocked out now. I don't do them all now because we're, we'll have a full new fun catalog in August and I want to make some fresh new cards but I love to get a big chunk of them done in the summer because things for me at least are a little bit slower and that's why Christmas in July can be so fun. So don't wait, uh, go ahead and order your online exclusives. Now, the online exclusives are available while supplies last, okay? So there's no guarantee that like say if they run out that they'll be restocked and so you definitely don't want to be like, oh, I'll wait on that. Like, it's not like something in the catalog that will be around as long as the catalog is out. Okay, these are out as long as they're popular. And so you want to make sure and get yours while you can. Okay. Now, let us start building our sweet card. So, we are going to put our bow behind our celebrate. Now, we need to be careful here because we don't want it to go like off the card. So I'm going to go back here. And if I had tear and tape, I would tape it, but I'm gonna use dimensionals because I have to dimensional mold this anyway. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and put this bow. Let's put it over here like so and we will flip it over and get a dimensional to trap it in there ideally i would have my large dimensionals out but for whatever reason all i have on the table are mini dimensionals so those will do we have regular dimensionals mini dimensionals and black dimensionals for those dimensionals that are going on darker papers Okay, so let's go ahead and pop our celebrate with our bows down. Okay, ta-da! And then I'm gonna go ahead and put these berries right here with a mini glue dot. It's the perfect size for a mini glue dot, actually. And then I'm gonna put these berries under just for something different okay peeking out and then our last little detail oh you know what mm hmm that is why that needs to go there well we'll just put it like right here oh yeah we're gonna pull this out i forgot i have to do my the season all right so we're going to now on this i will put my dimensionals right here because I know that's where I want that piece to be. Um, just that's a little tip I have. 
and then it can shimmy in right where you want it to go. Isn't that so cute? It almost looks like a little retro. Okay, now we will, let's just use glue dots on this. We're gonna shimmy this under our crumb cake element there. There we go, now we're cooking. And we can put our little berries right here. Oh, it's so cute. All right, the last thing we're gonna do is pop up our Christmas tree and we're gonna tuck it right in this corner. Now, I, I did get the inspiration, an almost complete case for this card from Stampin' Up. So, just so you'll know, I got the idea for this from Stampin' Up, thank you. And um, the last thing we're gonna add to this, oh, I meant to put some ribbon on there. Just got so excited. Okay. Uh, I figure I can, I got, I got an idea. We're going to make a little ribbon accent. And it's going to come out here. Put some glue dot on there. And we're going to use our paper snips to guide it. Well, maybe we'll use our fingers to guide it underneath this whole situation there. Oh, that's precious. I love it. Okay, and now we're going to add our white embellishments. These are pecan pie and clear ribbon adhesive back dots. So these would be the clear ribbon adhesive back dots. And it's hard to see. I'll try to bring it for y'all to see closer. But um, they have like a pattern to them. It's like a little line that goes through them. It's really, they're really cool, trust me. So make sure and add some of those. I will tell you that our embellishments always go really fast on the online exclusives. So make sure and get yours while you can. All right, iconic imagery, stamp set, and dies. You're gonna need the whole nine yards and then make sure and pick up a pack of that six by six designer paper. It's also on the online exclusives. You'll want to get your uh, pecan pie and clear adhesive back dots, and you can grab some of this white frayed uh, grow grain ribbon for your projects. All right, now let me show you some more projects that I have with this. Now, I like to trade cards with friends. This card was made by Barb Mulligan, and isn't it so cute? It is uh, showing you some different colors, but a similar kind of card with um, that iconic imagery. We have a fun layout with the designer paper and we're bringing in the um, greetings of the season that we used last week. And then this just a fun like congratulations card. Oh, this was made by Tracy Jacobs and this congratulations card by Natalie Travis. So I love when my friends um, and I trade cards because I have so many more things to show you. It's hard work to do, but it pays off in the end. Thanks for watching. Make sure and purchase these items and subscribe to me on YouTube. And we will see you next week. Bye-bye.